Hello and welcome to the SysCard video tutorials. My name is Sergey and we continue to speak about products. After the short category introduction, we can go straight to a products page. Let's roll. Today we are going to review the products list page. Products, products, here we go. This is the products list page. This is the list. Uh, this is uh, the search bar, plus button, gear button, well, we will be speaking about them a little bit later. First, uh, let's take a look at the list itself. The product list consists of several pages, like we can see here, uh, 24 in our case. Yeah, you can change the number of items per page by clicking this number, 10, 20, you can make like 50 on one page, let me show you. This decreases the number of pages, but increases the number of products on one page. Uh, you can do as you see fit. Well, now let's speak about the columns. Image column. I think that's clear. On this column you can see the images for all products. Yeah, it helps you to uh, orientate, uh, to locate the products you need. Yeah, name and code. This is the name and this is the code. You can change the code of a product uh, right on the product list page. Yeah, just click here and enter the necessary code. Don't forget that every code must be unique. It's important for the inventory. Price column. That's clear. This is the price uh, displayed on the products page. The main price. Uh, you can change it here too. List price. Um, this is the price of a manufacturer or maybe of your supplier or maybe um, uh, the price of your rivals and uh, usually it is recommended to make it higher than your price uh, and it will create a simple and um, nice discount for your customers for example here we have um, one dollar discount brilliant isn't it okay uh, so you can use it or not use it, it's up to you, it's also changeable. Quantity. Quantity is counted automatically by the system. You can change the quantity right here. Uh, for example, after you get new supplies of a product, for example, right now I got the new supply of uh, the MP3 player, so the quantity became 20. That's it. Uh, just don't forget to save the changes after you uh, change the numbers here next yeah the gear button uh, here you can click and edit the product or oh, delete it simple enough i think okay and the last uh, column here the status active disabled and hidden active and disabled that's clear and hidden your product uh, will be available by the link only so you can uh, give uh, the link to your friends or you can uh, use uh, the link for yourself it can also be helpful for the developers of your store for example they don't want to show this product to the customers but uh, they want to see the changes they make on the products page so they use this option that's all about the columns let's move on now let's speak about the search tool yeah you can use the ordinary search just like this lens and here we go the cameras and the lenses simple enough now I want to find uh, something in uh, the price category from uh, 150 to 300 yeah okay uh, only lenses left and now I want to search it for yeah I want to find lenses in the music category Okay, nothing. So, once again, you can use uh, the search by words, by price, and by category, and all together, of course. Um, well, what is really interesting here is the advanced search. Advanced search comes in handy when you have lots of products in your store, like 10,000 or even more, and you need to find one very specific product. Uh, for example, now I want to find uh, one very specific lens. I want to search it in all categories. Yeah, price. Yeah, find results with lens. I'm gonna use short description, full description. Search to search in. Yes, uh, I can also search by product filters if I wish. For example, 
I can choose from here or oh, enter it. Nikon. Yes. I want to find Nikon lens only. I can search by product code if I know it. Uh, by popularity. Yeah. I can search in subcategories or, or in main categories only. I recommend you to search in subcategories. Okay. Uh, by the shipping freight, by the weight. Yes, even by the weight. Uh, by the quantity from 1 to sky is the limit. Free shipping. Yes, no. Status. If I want to find all hidden products, for example, or all disabled products. Sales amount. Purchased in orders. Add orders, uh, so I can choose all the orders I had or have and uh, add them here and search in the orders. For example, I want to find all the lenses, all the Nikon lenses that was sold. Okay, add orders and closed. Sort by name, it doesn't matter. And I can create the name for my search and save the search. Uh, for example, I'm gonna call it Nikon Lens and save and here we go I found two lenses to be more accurate I found one lens and one camera with a lens and now instead of um, entering all this information all over again I just choose Nikon Lens and that's it I found everything I wanted. Mm, you can make the same search by brands, I don't know, by uh, categories, uh, by status. So you can create lots of uh, searches, for example, new safe search. And you can create Sony brand search, if you wish. Without lens, yes, yes. Uh, without the orders, you can just call it Sony and save. Here we go, all the products by Sony. So uh, don't forget about this really useful tool. Now let's move on to the upper panel of the um, product list. What we can do here, with the plus button we can add one new product. Just enter the name, choose the category, add the description, images, choose uh, the options, your product is ready. After that you can add some more information about it. Okay. Uh, the gear button. You can with the gear button you can make the global update for the products. For example, what does uh, the global update mean? You can change the price, uh, the list price, yeah, the quantity and pricing points for all of the products, or for some specific products if you add them here. Um, then none of the um, products is chosen. All products is included. Okay, so this is the global date for the price, list price and quantity. Really useful, for example, when uh, the currencies change their rates and you need to keep up with the times and keep up with the changes, I'm sorry. Uh, bulk product edition, yeah. Almost the same thing as the add product button, but uh, it saves you a lot of time. You can, cha you can choose the category right here. You can click add button, yeah, use the clone button if you want to create some similar products. Add product name here and uh, uh, give it a price, uh, choose a list price, choose a status, choose a position and then add those uh, products straight to the category you need. Saves a lot of time. Uh, product subscriptions. Here you can take a look at the number of subscribers. Some people can subscribe to some um, products when they are not available. And you can see this number here. It can be useful for gathering some statistics. Edit selected, clone selected, export selected, delete selected. Uh, I think delete selected clear, clone selected clear. Well, edit selected. It works the same as the category editing. So I choose these three products, click Edit Selected button, and select All. And uh, for example, I want to change its code, I want to change its um, price, SEO name, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Yes, 
and here you can change this information for these chosen products just at one page uh, by using uh, this method you can choose uh, the whole page of the products and change the necessary information you don't have to go inside the products uh, page on the admin panel and choose and change this information and go back choose again go back choose again you can do it all in one page now let's breathe one more thing left export selected yes uh, let me show you how it works okay uh, now I clear the fields product code and language fields are obligatory so I'm going to change SEO name of this product meta keywords and meta description I'm gonna save the layout so I in the future I will not have to do this all over again here we have export options that doesn't matter now so after all that we click export button and we get CSV file well uh, you can open it with um, Excel this CSV file is the best way of editing a big amount of information about the products uh, for example now I will enter keyboards for these free products so um, I can make it fast and easy so let me show you easy it doesn't really matter nice new yeah. no um, brand and at that I just copy the information and uh, save the changes okay done at that I go back to the admin panel now it's time to import the data and see the changes for this we need to go to administration import data choose products after that uh, well doesn't matter select file local yes CSV file okay open it and click import button yeah data is imported successfully updated objects free skipped object zero total free new object zero but you can add new objects don't forget about that you can add new products uh, with this button I'll show it later well uh, now we go to products page pens SEO and here we have media keyboards easy nice brand the same um, applies to the other products I chose for example for this mp3 player SEO easy nice brand yes you can do the same thing with all the products don't be shy to use the CSV files for the mass editing it will save you a lot of time that's it about the product lists in the next video we will be speaking about the individual products option thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCART video tutorial